Good day to you, man of family. Here we are on day two of this talk on training to enter into God's rest. Today we'll be speaking about prayer. If you've gotten on the growth track, you may recognize prayer as one of our nine healthy habits. And while we're gonna speak briefly on it today, if you want more information, be sure to go on the app or the web to sign up and get on the growth track. See it, man, we believe God speaks to us through his written word, first and foremost, but through other persons, but also us to us individually. Prayer is simply communication with God. I believe that as we know God more fully and better understand how he communicates to us, we would be able to better discern what the Holy Spirit is doing in our lives, to be able to better receive his comfort. And in doing so, we can understand how we can personally partner with him as he leads us. I believe through prayer, we have the ability to see God and ourselves more clearly. And this is a major thing. Prayer is one of the primary ways we come to God. In Matthew 11, 28 through 30, Jesus tells us something very important about coming to him and about rest. He says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. He says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. It is by coming to Him that we learn, that we are trained to understand and believe that He is gentle, that He is humble in heart. And as He comforts us, He brings rest to our souls. See, this yoke He's speaking of is His teaching. It's the gospel of Jesus Christ, the things He is training us in. See, it's that godliness that transforms us into being more like Christ. And by the way, Jesus was the most joyous person to ever walk the earth, the most peaceful, the most restful person. And this yoke that he has is easy and light. If you are here today and feel heavy and life seems hard with little hope, can I tell you, you can take off that yoke. Whatever it is you are wearing, the I'm not good enough, I will never measure up, I will never be successful, or I'm too broken, believing that you're good while you actually know that you're not good and that your soul is heavy and burdened. What, whatever that yoke is that you're carrying that's not the yoke of Jesus Christ, I just wanna encourage you to take that yoke off and put on the yoke of the good news of Jesus Christ. I wanna encourage you to cry out to God and ask Him, make requests to Him, praise Him. This is where we see God very evident in our lives. Being able to pray to God about something, believing in faith that He can do it, and seeing Him active in our lives when he answers those prayers, builds our faith. And it allows us to put more of our trust into him, which then leads us to enter into a more deep rest in him. So to wrap this up, pray. God hears you and he speaks. Now, how do you get started? Well, you just pray, you just have a conversation with God. You allow him into your life to come in and transform you, because he will. So that's it, folks. Start praying. We'll see you tomorrow for our next habit. God bless.